What's up guys and welcome back to Software Nardis Solutions and today we're talking about Apex Legends. Yes ladies and gentlemen, Apex Legends brought out a small update to change the rotation of the maps for World's Edge to be back into the game for ranked players, people that play ranked games. Now ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people lose FPS inside this game, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a FPS boost guide. Now this update that they did, it's not just to change the rotation for the map, they actually changed a couple of things inside the game itself graphics wise and stuff like that so today i'm going to be showing you an fps boost guide stay tuned for that and i hope this worked for you if this worked for you leave a like leave a comment subscribe to my youtube channel and as always i'm just here to help people out with gaming and that's what i do on my youtube channel all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your desktop like this if you are a video user like me you right click on your desktop and open up the video control panel just like this once your NVIDIA control panel opens, you're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and make sure it says use the advanced 3D image settings. Then it has an option to say take me there. When you click on this, it's going to take you to this over here. Now a lot of people have seen a lot of my videos where I select a specific game or you maybe watch someone else's video where they say you go here and you select Apex Legends for instance. You know, you go look for it. If you can't find it inside here, then all you need to do is go to add. So let's say Apex Legends. I select the program and then I can start changing things inside here. Now, I highly recommend don't do this. Just go to global settings so you can change things for every game you're going to be playing. But trust me, this works 100% for Apex Legends. Now, all you need to do is follow these things, change the settings as I have it over here. I've done a lot of tweaks inside here, especially these two. Prefer maximum performance using your GPU, driver default, on, allow, quality. This, depending on your machine that you're running, if you're running a budget gaming PC, put it on high performance. If you're running a mid-tier to a high-tier gaming PC, put it on performance or high quality or just quality in general. This you're going to keep on on, auto, off, use the 3D application settings, and then this one on one and off. So I'm just going to scroll like this. And you can maybe just pause the video. Just follow all these settings. Once you're done with setting all these settings over here, you are going to say apply. And then when you're done with that, you're going to go to config and surround and physics. Now yours might be on auto select like this. I highly recommend changing it from that to your graphics card and then say apply. And then it's going to apply your graphics card to NVIDIA control panel. It's highly recommended you go ahead and do this. Another cool feature to make your game look a little bit better is digital vibrance. So all you need to do is go to the image over here, number three, so you can actually see what happens. When you pull this down, it makes it more black and white. It makes it more dull. So I highly recommend changing this from its default settings to a little bit higher, like 80, 85, maybe like even 90, depending on your monitor. Now my sweet spot for this is 85 like this, and I leave it like this for my screen. Now as you can see, I have three, but this is my main screen that I'm using right now. Right, once you're done with that, you're going to close out of this, and you are going to go to this search button over here, and type in settings, just like this, and press enter. Go to update and security, and make sure your Windows is up to date on a regular basis. Please go ahead and do this. If there's optional installations, go ahead and install them. If it asks you to restart your PC, go ahead and restart your machine. Once you're done with this, back to home, privacy, scroll all the way down, go to background apps, switch this from on, all these things are going to run in the background while you're playing games, switch it off. Then it doesn't use any resources of your RAM, CPU, or your motherboard, or your hard drive, or whatever the case might be, it doesn't use resources of your machine. Go back to the home button, and then go to gaming. You're going to go to game mode over here. Now, for a lot of people out there, this actually helps or it doesn't. It's your own personal preference because it depends on your machine. Not every single person out there runs the exact same machine. So if you put this on, you get better performance. Go ahead and do so. If you don't see an improvement on your game at all, then just leave it off and just leave it off. For me personally, with every single game I've ever played, this thing does not do anything when I put it on. It doesn't do nothing for me. Maybe it's my own personal rig. Maybe it helps for you with your machine, your laptop, your gaming PC, whatever the case might be. I turn mine off and I leave it off. Once you're done with that, you just close out of this like this. And you're going to go to the search button over here. And you're going to go to device manager, just like this. And click on device manager. You're going to go to display adapters. And then here's your graphics card right here. 
I highly recommend you right click on it, say update drivers, and you can say search automatically for drivers, right? Search automatically, it will tell you if you have the latest drivers installed. Now, this is the easy way of doing this, okay? If you would like to refresh or reinstall your graphics card drivers fresh from start, so your graphics card runs on the latest drivers, or just in general to keep it up to date, to keep your driver reinstalled fresh, you go to update driver, browse my computer, and then go to let me pick from a list of available drivers on my PC, click on your graphics card and say next. I can't say next right now because it's going to make my screens go black and my OBS will stop recording. So this is how you install your graphics card drivers, a very easy and simple way. If you want to update your graphics card drivers and see if it's up to date, it's very easy to do. Just go into Google and then type in the graphics card that you have and say download driver. Right, or you can type in your graphics card that you have and say driver download. How, whatever the case might be, go and find your graphics card and go and download the latest drivers. If you are on a video user like me, I highly recommend you go ahead and install GeForce Experience if you are installing a fresh copy of your graphics card. GeForce Experience is a very good program to let you know if you are on the latest drivers for your graphics card. So you just go to drivers like this, go to check for updates, and it will let you know if you are on the latest drivers. So there you go, as you can see, I'm on the latest drivers. This is all I use this program for. I don't go play my games through this. I highly recommend you don't either. If you're one of those lucky people that play your game through here, go ahead and do so. I'm not one of those people. I play my game through Origin or Steam or whatever the case might be. I close out of this. I just use this program to keep my graphics card drivers up to date because it will let me know right here. It will make a little orange circle to let me know that there's a new driver to be downloaded or Windows will notify me that there's a new driver to be downloaded and installed on my machine for my graphics card. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to open up my MSI Afterburner just so I can actually show you the FPS that I'm doing inside my games. All right, so I have a little bit of an overclock on my graphics card. As you can see here, power limit is full, temp limit is full, fan speed on 90. I do 100 overclock on the core and then 100 on the memory. And I just click on it and that's my overclock for my GPU. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in my game right now, and I'm doing about 144 FPS in the lobby. So what you're going to need to do is go to the game settings over here, go to settings, and go to video. The first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do, and put this on full screen, put this on native, and put this at the re resolution of your monitor or your display. Brightness is your own personal preference, depending on the screen or the monitor that you're running. Field of view is also your own personal preference. I keep mine at 110, so I can actually see much better on my left and right hand side. Okay, I highly recommend that you disable this and put this on minimal. V-Sync you're going to disable because you want to uncap your FPS so you can actually see the frames that you're doing. Because if I start changing this, if I put this on adaptive, 300 FPS. If I put this on adaptive 1, 2 rate, 300 FPS. Now, these two here, just because it says 300 FPS, you think that you're going to do much better FPS in the game itself? No, you are not. Go all the way to disable and say apply. NVIDIA Reflex, disable this. You're going to put this on zero as a target. You're going to put this on TSAA because you do want your game to look good and your actual characters to look good as well. Because if I turn this down, I'm just going to say none and apply this and go back. Can you see this jagged edges on my character itself? Okay, so to change that, you go back here and then you're going to go to this here and put it on TSAA and apply it. And go back as you can see the jagged edges is all gone and it looks much much smoother right so back to settings and then we go to this texture streaming budget okay so if you have a let's say like me a six gig graphics card okay i have an rtx 2060 oc that's a six gig vram graphics card but i play my game at four gigs okay i can put it on six gigs if i want to but if you want better frames then all you need to do is change this to high and leave it at one down. So basically, if you have a 12 gig graphics card, then put it on eight. If you have an eight gig graphics card, put it on six. If you have a six gig graphics card, on four. If you have a four gig graphics card, on three. If you have a three gig graphics card, on two or three, or on two. If you have a two gig graphics card, on none. If you have a two gig graphics card, you can also put it on two. That's your own personal preference, depending on how your machine can run this game. This you're going to put on 16. This you're going to disable. This on high, on high, makes the game look much, much better. Spot shadow detail, 
disable this, disable this, disable this. Okay, these ones over here, model detail, you obviously want your game to look good. That's why it's called model detail. So it's the detail of the character itself and just in general, the game. So put this on high, this on medium, this on low, and then this on low. Once you're done with that, you're going to apply these settings and you should be doing about 144 FPS while you are playing the game, not just being in the lobby. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and as always, peace.